Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. It's Saturday night, and we're playing some more Gwent. I actually learned a lot from the stream last night. Uh, there were a lot of things that, you know, I just straight up didn't know about some of these builds, some of these strategies, and would we have gotten there on our own? Yes. It would have taken a bunch more games, so chat was able to shortcut me to a lot of different things, which I am grateful for. I appreciate it. So shout out to, to chat. Wanted to, to start out with putting that into the world, so I appreciate the assistance from everybody. Oh, we're jumping into a game. I will do my best, Sportive, to try and explain what's going on. I'm a very much a newbie to Gwent. Uh, I'm playing what is right now claimed by people who are much better at the game than me to be the best deck right now, but I'm very much just learning the ropes. So, uh, the idea here is there are three rounds. You got to win two of three to win the game and you win by scoring the most points in that round you each you alternate turns playing one card each uh and then uh, we're actually gonna keep this we kind of want to find savola though but we have this this actually seems like a decent hand maybe we should mulligan but i'm not sure uh we there are a couple things that i would want however we're up against guerrilla tactics I kind of want them to burn yeah, some of their resources Jackpot, here. Jeff. So we're going to do this. So as you can see over here on the right, I increased my score by four. This guy has a point value of four and also a provision cost to include him in the deck. There are certain requirements for that uh, of four. I don't know what trap this is. So this is a little concerning. I... I know there's spike trap, and I I can picture the other one in my head, but I don't remember the exact wording of them. We're gonna take a risk here. How much does this do? It does five? Okay. So that's the good news that this lived. The bad news is that it's gonna die almost immediately. <laughs> that's fair, Doc. That's fair. I mean, that guerrilla tactics is a thing that you know it comes up. <laughs> There are a number of games that utilize that. Uh, do we fist tack here? Or do we addict? I want to get the addict online, but I don't want to walk the addict into this. Plus, at the end, like, the addict is just going to die no matter what. Oh, you're in it. Text deep. Premium grade won't find any better. Like, the addict is just going to eat eat it because they're going to end up using guerrilla tactics and then popping it with milva or they could just kill it with you know nature's rebuke or a bunch of things it's going to be very difficult to get the addict online is the point so like i was saying the, the goal of the game is win two of three rounds to win the whole game uh we alternate playing one by one there are obviously some cards it's a different some cards that allow you to play more than one thing a turn. It's a different game economy than your typical card game. Uh, we, instead of having, you know, this is the other trap I was thinking of. So what is this one? So as compared to having your typical linear mana curve, this is more we'll say action based is the way I've been describing it. I don't know what Gwent actually calls it. Um, but I played several other games both physically and digitally that have this same sort of game economy. And it's very interesting to me trying to wrap my head around a different way of playing card games. Alright, so we have a few different things here that help us out, but we really want to find Savola, which we can do with this, so that's fine. We have some coin generation, but not a great deal. Well, actually, I think we're fine between this guy. We should be fine. This actually seems pretty good. We're going to stick with it. We do have to play first. So if you... The, this is also an interesting fact about Gwent, is that 
you're actually at a disadvantage going first, which is very rare in card games in general. So, uh, they give you, and it, it, like if you saw it earlier, there was a uh, a thing sitting on the board when I went first in round one that gave me resources. That's to help offset the uh, the disadvantage. And then if you win a round, you are forced to go first in the next round. Uh, it's very much trying to manage your card economy, as you can see here in the top right and the bottom right. Card economy being like how many plays you have. You waiting rounds, hoping I'll so, you, badger. I'm gonna try and win this round and take the whole game. I don't know if this is being too aggressive. I'm not gonna pay the tribute here. There's no point. There's probably better targets for the professor here, to be honest. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Doc. It's not the only game where that's the case. Uh, in Mythgard, it definitely was present as well, because the paths, in a number of cases, maybe... In some cases, it was absolutely advantageous, and in other cases, it was arguably only playable if you went second because of the power level. Like, if you went first, you were just at a disadvantage because of the bonus the other person got, or, you know, losing your bonus... It, it was just such a wide disparity between the two scenarios. So this thing would have been better to nuke. Um, so if we do this, he becomes enormous. I kind of just want to play this guy, but I don't know if there's a better sequence that we could have. Because we're not actually gaining the coins here. He's getting a boost, which is good, but... Well, I'm curious if that was always the case in Gwent as well, Doc. I don't know when I played it, like, years ago. I don't remember if you had the, the coin thing, which I think it goes into the graveyard. It does not. So I can't actually show it, but the one I have gives me coins. Um, what did you do? What is my opponent playing? I thought they were playing something different because of the, you know, the guerrilla tactics and the Milva and stuff, but it doesn't seem that's what they're doing. Uh, so we're going to Royal Decree here. So we're going to get Savola. Take no prisoners. We're going to pay the tribute. No that gives us the king. There's really no need to save coins, I don't think. But we can save them for now. Like it, This allows us to freak show twice in a turn if we wanted to and i played them on this row so that we could avoid the frost here i don't know how important that is but so they must have milva in hand or did we did they they did have a milva i i thought oh i see that's real bad for us i mean this guy can get buffed again so i guess that's a valid reason for us to have not um not sunk as many coins in. So wait, we have to pay the tribute to get it? Yes. So this will, will cleanse itself. We'll buff him now. The various Geralts are frustrating. Uh, it feels as though it's hard not to walk into them, but I don't know. All right, so we're going to poison our guy again. Get a buff. We might have been better off with the uh, the other one.
It might have been better off with the failed experiment. I don't, like, we don't have another way to poison this. Because it would have been 11. Because we would have lost one because we didn't poison it right away. This guy's annoying. We're gonna take it. I don't know why they didn't move something right away. Um... You do not deserve to live! I just don't want that thing sitting around. Because there's... Okay, they have another one. They have yeah, one charge shit. of their leader power left. I'm a little concerned about what they're doing, because it doesn't seem like they're doing a whole hell of a lot. Ah, oh, use that smell that. Oh, we don't I'm we don't have horde right now, so that didn't activate. I had meant to jackpot. Because then we can sewer raiders, sink some coins in here, maybe sit on some for the freak show, but screwed that up. Just went a little too quickly there. We might as well jackpot. Um, we can pop. We can do it four times. So this is going to give us two. That's why I did that. have a hard time believing our opponent's going to close the gap with 38. <laughs> Kill the sentry? Which one is the sentry? Oh, this guy? I didn't only because I they either have Milva in hand or I imagine that they played one. Because uh, they did a couple of other moves in, of us and didn't do anything. But maybe they are closing the gap. Maybe this was a mistake. Why didn't this damage me? Oh, there we go. Oh, they choose. I assumed it was random. Yeah, I think that was a, a misplay on my part, Slippy. Yes. Humes are scum. I prefer elves. They still scored an enormous amount of points, so that was a little dicey despite that. It was a little dicey despite that. Rip them to YouTube, so there you go. Anything in particular interest you? And here we go. I don't have any idea what this is. Battle trance. What? I've never seen this before, I don't believe. Um... That's not good. We didn't want the king in our hand. We can mulligan him next turn. Alchemy deck? I get... Hmm. I Yeah, I don't think I played against this. Whenever you play an alchemy card... I mean, the alchemy deck part of it, yes. That makes sense. I get that part. But I don't know... I mean, this ability... Because this faction is the one that feeds off damage, right? Deploy, look at your deck in order from top to bottom. You may shuffle your deck, then put a card on the bottom on top of it. Oh, then put a card on bottom of it. Okay, interesting. Um, we actually only have this for self-poison. So this is a little awkward. He's also one of our few coin generators this round. What we're going to try and do is set up him into Addict, into Fist Tech, and then Sewer Raiders. That's kind of our round. 
I don't know if we're going to be able to play the hideout. I don't think so. I can do a great deal more for you. Ooh, that's not great. In fact, that's kind of bad. When this enters your graveyard during the round, summon it to your melee row and give it doomed. Okay. Alright, well, we're still on our plan, but right now it's not looking great, because I expect she's going to be problematic. Does this cause you... This doesn't cause you to discard. This can actually serve as removal, too, which is interesting, because it doesn't say damage your own guys. Speaking of playing against a variety of different things. That's gotta go. We have no way to make that go away. I mean, we can generate coins and steal it, but that's about it. Save removal for preachers. I'm assuming that's this. Because, I mean, it does say preacher in the name, but I don't know if there's a different one. I don't know how we're going to get rid of it, though. Like it said, the only thing we have this round is... Is her? That is super obnoxious. Hmm. Like, I wonder, do we take her? We have no way to gain further coins other than this guy, and I don't want to play him this round. What can we get off of this? Like, I don't think we can close this round without expending resources that I don't want to do. You won't win this round, don't take it. I'd play Sewer and hope to get one more out of him. I I think that makes sense. Because that's the plan B. Like, I don't want to do this, but that was the only other line that I could think of. Because I agree, there's no reasonable way... Mm, that's unfortunate. Well, we're obviously going to pass. We're not expending more resources this round. Sorry, I just saw the rest in chat. Here comes a discard package. Oh, well, we didn't get too many this round, but I don't... Is there a true discard build? You know, like a madness build for old Magic players in Gwent? Didn't... F oh, we did find Savola, I was about to say. Okay. We have another one of these guys, I think. Yes, we do. I think I'm going to play him. Rather than the tax collector. I kind of want the tax... Well, we have another tax collector. I don't know. I don't want to... I like keeping the coin generators, is the point. We're going to play the jackal. Oh, be ashamed to let this beauty go first. Maybe that's wrong. That's a weird pass. I'll take your word on it, chat. I have no idea. I've never... This is literally the first time I've seen this, so I don't know. Now, as we were talking about last... Wait, what? Why did it say passed again there? Alright, we don't want that. We don't want that. We can mull once. Basic. Oh, no. We can mull twice. I don't know that we want the... I mean, we want them, but we can live without them, I think. We don't really have a lot of poison other than this guy. We'll keep these. Um, we're going to lead with this guy, question mark. Corporations are people too. Yeah, they won on even. They should have bled you. I would assume, yes. Yeah, what I was going to say is last night people were saying that the build I'm playing typically has a... a better long round, so I mean, we'll see if I can punt it. I'm sure I will. Uh, order damage self by foreign spawn rain. Okay. Uh. 
You're heading out? Well, I appreciate you hanging out, Sportive. Take it easy. Have a good night. Hey, listen here. Listen well. Oh, there's another discard. Card. Product needs to hit the streets at dawn. That clear. All right, so this guy is now out of range of their one removal card. I don't know if they have things that can poison. I think that's only Syndicate. All right, we, we're going to kill this thing right now. Don't trouble yourself with pleas for mercy. I'm not letting that thing continue to grow. He doesn't? Alright, cool. Thanks, Omnia. And, and what's good? How you doing? Easy oh, Professor? Yep. Is, is this guy no relevant effect. in the uh, the Witcher games? He seems like he's a primary side character, if that makes sense. This is the third one they played. How did they do that? Oh, that's how. Waka waka. Alright, do I steal this one just so they can't have it? We have a bunch of coin generators, so I don't know how much it matters otherwise. In Witcher 1, gotcha. NG is the only other faction to have poison as well, gotcha. I don't know what's relevant out of these, out of this deck. Your but you're an engine, so I'm not going to let you have it. Main villain's helper? Yeah, I could see that. He definitely looks like that kind of do kind of guy. I mean, he's in this the Syndicate faction, which does not seem as though it's full of very nice people. <laughs> this is now the fourth preacher they've played. And they're limited on that as well, not at the syndicate level of poison. Gotcha. Fair. Um, we're just going to play this guy. Lots of prior experience. Worked with we should have actually life. Gellert first, then played him uh, so that we can make better use of the coins because we're going to Savola and then use Royal Decree to pull out Caesar. I think. You broke my heart. You shall never find peace. There's an enormous amount of cards here that I just... I've never seen these cards before. Um, I think we're just going to do our thing. You will not stand in the way of my master's plans. I won't let you. Maybe I should have put it at 11, because there is that one Geralt or whoever it is that nukes things that are the same, uh, same power. Free me! Lift me to the sky! Devour me! I'm telling you, that, like, I'm trying to keep track of the things they're doing, but it's just like, when there are this many new cards to me, it's imp verging on impossible. Could have freak showed the preacher as well. Yeah, we probably should have. I think that would have been correct. I was hell bent on doing this royal decree into Caesar plan, but I think you're right, chat. Main Witcher 1 villain. Gotcha, okay. 
maybe not the main villain, but can't say more. So I don't mind being spoiled, but I appreciate you not doing it only because I don't know how many people in chat have played. Although The Witcher 1 is, like, old at this point, isn't it? I don't think I've ever hit a score this high, so I hope our opponent doesn't blow us out somehow. <laughs> The Witcher 1 is pretty rough. Well, the game is, is pretty old, right? Like, I don't remember what year it came out, but it had to have been a while at this stage, I think. We're doing this one because we're not going to get enough turns to make the other one the same value. Like, we'll get one more turn, we'll jackpot, and, you know, just go nuts with stuff, but we couldn't remove poison, apply poison enough times to make it more than 12, I think. No prisoners! Clean up to the sea! Okay. Alright, we're still above 100 points, chat. <laughs> I'm okay with that, as long as we got that. Um, this purify, what is... Oh, this doesn't have an effect, it's just uh, animated. Reticent tongues like a hot iron. We're just kind of spreading it around. 119 points, I'll take it. We could have moved poison, but whatever. Hey, I'll take a win. I'll take the win. I've honestly, I don't think I've ever scored that many points in a round, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> like, that's kind of fun. I started the second season of The Witcher, I'm assuming, Jinxie. I definitely take back the PG-13 violence. That'll be rough to watch the wife. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Aren't they only on, like, episode two or something right now? I don't know how far. Okay, so this could be hyper-thin. Maybe. Um, I don't hate this hand, but I don't necessarily love it. We actually have a good amount of poison and coin generation. I was trying to find another spender. So if this guy gets nuked immediately somehow, we don't really have anything else great so i kind of want to play this to bait something else we're kind of contingent on uh chuckles here living long enough i mean we can do the blenheim brothers combo <clears throat> but we'll see you should start with roland this is roland okay yeah I give you key for poison. Yes. Right now, I'm... Okay, so this is hype. I haven't seen this guy before. Interesting. I wonder what they cut, because I was not running this in Hyper Thin. Uh, now, granted, I'm not really making my own deck list. I'm kind of just taking them. All right, so we're going to go for the Addict. They do have removal. It just depends on what they have available. There's a number of things that they could do. Yep, there it is. So, so this is a pretty significantly different list. So we get back a... Whoop. Yeah, we got back an addict on top. All 
Alright, so brother's gonna poison brother. A little weird. So we don't... It's clog. We don't want to play bronzes this round. Is it clog as in it's clogging up my deck, or is clog a card? It's a deck. Okay. I so it's like me. reverse mill, sort of. I can see where this is going. I can, I can kind of see where this is going. Uh, okay. So we were not tributing in order to be able to get the buff here, that's why. He has a card that gains points depending on the difference of cards in your deck. Okay. That's good to keep in mind. So, I'm assuming it's only a one of. And... What do we do here? It's mocking me, I can tell. Okay, so here's... I mean, that's immediately one. Um... Is this guy bronze or gold? He's gold. So we could purify something and then just keep going. I don't know how much... I mean, we're not ahead by a lot. We'd obviously lose this round. So... You always want to keep Kurt for defender? Okay. In that case, you think we pass here? I mean, I'll give poison to this because we can. Oh no, we can't. We needed to play something. Ugh, mistake. Mistakes were made. Should have done this. All right, we'll pass next round. We're playing a lot of different things, to playing against a lot of different things tonight. Like, I've never seen this before. Uh, so I'm not really sure what to expect. Like I started out with, I thought it was hyper thin because of tactical decision, and then they opened with this, and I saw a roach. And... So we're even. She probably shouldn't be. We should be up a card, because we should have that fist tech still. You don't have any idea what this is? Well, you're, we're in the same boat then. I mean, I could kill something. You just mix hyper thin with clog. All right, we're going to give up this round. Our original plan was to pass going into this turn. So we're going to continue with that. I was debating maybe we steal something. So we're going to get infiltrator shuffled into our deck, which will be annoying, but, you know, what are you going to do? Alright, so we found our Savola, which is important. We got to see if we can win this round without it. If we're holding out to Kurt for Defender, that's fine. Uh, we have two ways to poison, which is okay. Last round, you should have played a Dealer instead of two-point Fist Tech. Well, I, I shouldn't have played the, the fist tack at all, I think. If you were talking about that last one. Um, we're just going to keep this. Do we have another Attic to play? Because I thought... The, they killed our first addict, and I thought we just drew this one. Wait, what? Poor K. Why did they do that?
I'm kind of confused as to what's happening. I mean, I know chat said they were confused as well, <laughs> given that our opponent's doing a variety of different things, but... Alright, so this thing's just going to keep growing. There's really no way for us to stop that. Same time next week. So we can do the Savola play. I just don't know how we win in round three then. I guess we still have these guys and then can try and boost like the Sea Jackals or something. I guess. Should develop Tax Collector first. Fair. I mean, we're, we were at or going to be at a pretty high coin count as a result of the, the Trafficker. Uh, so this means that it's getting played closer to when we'd be getting a buff out of it. In this world, only As in, like, we'd be at so 9 and then generating extra power due to jackpot. I don't know if that really matters. That's the way I'd had it in my head. This is a problem, though. This was because you did Dead Man's Tongue. We don't really have any way to deal with that. I mean, well, we do, technically. So what we can do is we can fist tack here and then move the poison to kill it. Not all battles need end in bloodshed. That may not necessarily be what we want to do. But I don't know that we have much of a choice. So, if we assume that that play happens, they are at 13... Well, we're at 13 points. Now they're at 15. I'm just assuming that this thing is out of the way. 21. Um... I'm trying to avoid playing Savola, but I don't know that we're going to be able to do that. This could be a mistake uh, if we don't, because this gives them the opportunity to purify it. And if they do that, we're pretty much just screwed. I mean, they also could have a, a lull random effect that could kill it. Like, Karathi Heat Wave, that's not lull random, but that could have killed it. What would we take with this, though? I would just take whatever. So I don't think they're going to sink any more buffs into this thing. But then we're not growing this anymore. You do not deserve to live. That's just so it doesn't keep growing on their side. Again, we could have waited a little bit longer, I guess, to try and grow more points on the attic, but I don't want to risk them either purifying or killing the attic somehow. I just don't know strength, how they would do it. And they probably would have done it by now if they had it. So we might have to Savola no matter what this round. Because I think we're just kind of in trouble here.
Like, we're down right now. I would assume they'd want to pass here, right? They're up around. They'd end up being up cards going into the final round. Should have spent once more. I mean, yeah, they could remove it, I guess. Yeah, we could bounty this guy and then kill it the next round, assuming this doesn't die. Wait, what did they just do? Oh, they did that. Um, yeah, we spent wrong on this. We should have bountied and then gone for something, I think. Because now we've kind of locked ourselves into this. So... Just curtain spend once. I mean, that's what, what I'm... Well, let me do it, and then I guess I'm running out of time. I can't wait to hear your wicked flesh sizzle. So, the problem here is... We're up by two, right? So, they play something, and then we have to Savola anyway. Wait, what? Okay, I really expected them to play something. Hmm. I mean, okay. Yeah, I thought they were going to play another card, go ahead of us, and then it would force us into the Savola play, which I didn't want to burn. <laughs> well done. Well, well done, Zomnia. Alright, we don't have another mulligan, so I'm not going to get rid of these because I don't want to get stuck with beggar in hand. I don't think he knows what he's doing. I mean, are you talking about me or my opponent? Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you were at least correct in one of those. I, <laughs> I figured that's what you meant. I'm making the joke. Because it's, uh, it's also true. But in all honesty, like, I assume that... Well, okay, so chat, would it have been correct to do what I was thinking he was going to do? Just play the other card on the assumption that I'm holding Savola. Play Siggy? Oh, this guy, I was... Do we have Caesar? I was going to try and go for Caesar, but yeah, that also works. Um, yeah, we might as well do this. Where is he? There he is. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots in all life. Yeah, he should have forced you to play Savola. Yeah, that's... I'm, I'd like to believe that I'm progressing in my play recognition. Um... But more likely, it's just, uh, I'm getting lucky. <laughs> this thing looks nasty. Should click Jackal once. We don't want to spend already. Remember, he has. Yeah, he definitely has Vilchforts. One man's battlefield is another man's ripe patch for harvest. So why don't we sink two into this? We're going to end up having to jackpot anyway. I mean, I guess it, it kind of doesn't matter.
Because I probably would have done it twice. I mean, I'm going with Chad's suggestion. I probably would have done it twice because then it gets goes up to nine. Um, but maybe it doesn't matter. He has Vilda, doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, he's going to nuke um, whichever the biggest thing is anyway, so. All right, so... Well, I guess we don't have to jackpot now. So if we Savola, we can summon our dudes and then jackpot something else. Just spread boost evenly. Yeah, exactly. So wait, does the profit go off before the tribute? So I can just do Savola, right? I don't need to jackpot first. I don't know if that really matters here, but just so I know how the sequencing works. Whatever, we're going to do it. See For science. Ah, I did that wrong. Whatever. It it's spread out. <laughs> um, I what I wasn't sure is just the sequencing. Like I don't know how. I assumed that the text would go sequentially, but. I played enough games where that's not necessarily the case that <laughs> just for the sake of being sure. Just for the sake of verifying. Well, they did have Vilge. I don't... Did we know for sure? We saw the Vilge forts, but I don't remember if they put it on top of their deck with something. I mean, they had enough card draw and other stuff that it's likely that they were going to have it no matter what. I just didn't know with 100% certainty. Well, that could be true. And again, I don't... I'm not trying to say I know better, but there have been plenty of card games where cards sat undiscovered for a long time because there just wasn't something to highlight whatever it happened to be that was necessary. Now, it's entirely possible Savola's is the same thing, where, or not the same thing, rather, that it doesn't matter. Um, Alright, so this is that stupid shield boost deck or shield spam deck i don't really know what i need i mean i guess we should have a bunch of options it's just going to be weird math and i'm going to end up guerrilla tacticing something multiple times accidentally um so if we move that we're going to end up like i want to play dunka but i also want to kill this stupid thing Yeah, I think I just rebuke it. That's where I was going with it. Like, we can survive without one turn of Dunka buff. Like, they chose not to buff it or protect it. I mean, I guess it had armor, but... See? One never need ask me twice. I mean, I can definitely see that, Somnia. I can definitely see that. All right, I guess we just Make advance, Dunka. Already. I haven't got all day. We don't actually have any way to to do anything to that. We can move it if they put stuff on the row. How does the sequencing for this work? So you move and then do the damage, but we can't target the thing without that. So that means that we can't bomb anything effectively. Dunka for sure, yeah. Womp womp. Perfect. 
I kind of just want to poke this thing with the saboteur. But if we move it... Make your move already. Yeah, the dwarf is another one. Like, it's probably one of these two. I was just trying to work out, like, if we move this with Guerrilla Tactics, it's just going to be an enormous amount of stuff to invest to try and kill it with Milva. You're helping me. Why would you do that? All right, pal. You're, like you're you're emoting way too much. You need to calm down. That 75th espresso might have been a little much. Like, let's just let's just take a deep breath. <laughs> they chatted. us. This is super obnoxious. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not just sitting in silence staring at the screen when I'm trying to do math. Like, trying to do Milva math and see if, like, there's a, a some advantage to be gained by moving stuff around. Just play Pact? I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Just play Bronzes this round. I mean, we're almost out of them, to be honest. <laughs> Any mods here? I need emotes to express my deep sadness inside. <laughs> I don't know if... Like, where's... Uh, did I ever mod Doc? I don't know that I ever modded Doc. I'll have to figure that out in a second. Let me... Um... So we can't target any of this stupid stuff? Uh... We can move this, but like... Yeah, I... This is where I'm kind of torn, just general Gwent-wise, is... They still have five cards in hand, which to me is a, a lot. If we pass here, which I will do... It just feels like we're we're going into another even round, which maybe is okay, but I haven't quite determined when to say, yes, that is okay that we did that. So, I think what we're going to have to do is is do the, the sim loss this round. I'm going to keep the rest of this. Yeah, I kind of want to search for Alzer, but I also don't want to draw into the other orb. Or Milva, for that matter. Since we only had the, the, the one mulligan, air quotes. I mean, we had two, but not technically the sky will burn with the eternal fire I think we kill this dude right because otherwise I think he's gonna end up with too much value if we make a bomb oh wait we could we could milva this guy and then play truffle I think. No! Ah, uh, every time. I don't do this with the other leader powers. It's incredible. Oh my god. Never ending. <laughs> yeah, the rebuke, I just... I wanted to save it so we could just do five cleanly. Alright, well, our opponent passed, so that's fine. Is it fine? Like, should I... I shouldn't, like, go crazy in sim loss here, right? I'm gonna say no. 
I was partially considering it just to, like, filter them out so we have a better chance of finding Alzer and they're in the graveyard. But I don't know if that's being too aggressive about it. That might be too aggressive about it. I don't know. So we got to find Alzer. Obviously, we'll get rid of Milva. Uh, oh, we have Oniromancy, so we're fine, right? So we go Seer into... Um, Seer into Simlos into Oniromancy. Go nuts. We're just going to leave this alone. Yeah, I was thinking about the Matron. I didn't articulate that, but Chad is right. Like, this is a possible mulligan there, and I wasn't sure. I guess the question is, do we run this out naked? Because this feels like it's immediately going to die. Start with the Seer. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. This was the plan. I just don't know if... Like, that's a lot of cards. This has... This is going to die, right? Yeah, the Matron was, was again, something to consider here. Okay, we got... Oh, wait, what? Is that correct? Like, is that the right play? Because that feels like that's not the right thing. So, do I own Neuromancy now? Because now they don't have a big thing to, to do? A big removal? Did they just rage quit? Because they misclicked? Six point E wave. Okay, so do we sim loss? I kind of feel like the original plan was a sim loss and then go for the other guy. So we're gonna do that. Chat's confirming. Wait, matron first. Why would we matron first? I mean, that's fair. If they had removal, they probably would have played it, right? You get one more point with Matron, but if he has another removal, it's risky. Yeah, I agree, Slippy. I think my play would have... I mean, I'm... No! <laughs> well... Womp wah. This is kind of what I was afraid of. I mean, I don't know that we would have survived. Because this is, uh, 5, 6, 10 damage. So I don't know that we would have survived. Hey, Ultra, what's good? Alright, are we all in on this now? I think we need to create other bodies. Sim loss and leader. Why should I, an elf, a sage, converse with an ape? I was thinking about playing the saboteur just to remove the uh the shield there, and also, again, so I could spread the vitality, but I don't know how important that is, now that they played two removal cards. I don't know how many I should be expecting out of this deck, is the point. Saboteur was better. I Probably. Probably. I just realized we don't actually have any spells for what's-his-face. Shit. Wait, when does this trigger? Oh, this is off of specials, not spells. Okay, I, I had a... I was panicked for a moment. No, we don't have a harvest. We're just playing the body. Yeah, this is really awkward.
Well, we'll trigger Alzer when these reactivate, but it's going to take a couple turns to do it, which is why I wanted to play other things to bait it so that they can't just nuke him right off the bat. Like, if we had the harvest, I'd feel much better because then we can protect her it, but... Lady Aylin. This is... Yeah, this is super awkward. Saboteur front. Why do we want him in the front? What am I playing around? Oh, I guess that. <laughs> Well, I, that would have hit anything. What is initiative? First action of your turn. Interesting. Okay. Um, so I guess we're... We're just getting Alzer and hoping, right? The Protector can only get a rebuke. So, like... I'm just going to get Alzer. Wait, can I... Oh, it's too late. I can't cancel it, I don't think. Just discard the bomb? If I just end turn, does it choose to discard, or how do I manually discard? I've literally never done that. Oh, God! A duel! To a duel, I challenge thee! Womp womp. Oh, we probably lose. Oh, you can just drag it? Ah, I didn't realize that. Okay. I've never done that, so I didn't know it was possible. Hmm. So I imagine we just lose. I don't really see how we get out of this. If we play a spell, that thing triggers. Or a special card, that thing triggers. Will this sequence the right way? I just now won't. Never have. I guess it will. Sorry, I'm reading chat to try... Wait, what? What'd you just do to me? So is this guy's deck like two threats and then 70 million burn cards? I mean, it, it worked. I don't know if that was optimal. But I mean, it is what we had. <laughs> yeah, protector now. Right? Yeah, Rebuke was our only option, Ultra. Otherwise, we would have ended up playing Protector a few turns ago if we had whatever the the Make an Elf spell is, this thing. Casually playing a no unit attack. I mean, apparently. So wait, I want... Why am I playing... What is Yirden? Or Yirden? I don't know how to say that name. I don't know what I'm playing around, but I'll take chat's word for it, putting stuff in front row. Yeah, definitely Gord here. Um, what is the like? What is the thing I'm playing around by doing that? I don't know what that card is. I'm sure I've seen it, I just don't... What? Reset all row. Ah, oh, that guy. That guy's definitely been played against me. I just didn't know that was the name of the card. Um. You got me? We managed to get it. I'll be honest, Shadow. I, I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> I, 
I don't know. It was like it must have been bare minimum dudes, right? Yeah, easy game, easy life. I don't know about that one. That must have been bare minimum dudes. So Simlos then was a correct play, but I didn't ex expect to control that. Okay. I mean, that the whole sequencing was weird. Are you saying in general? So we don't have the tutor. Do we mull Alzer here? In general, the few exceptions? Okay. I think we mulligan this guy. Wait. Well, we have a tutor, but we don't... Oh, no, we do. It's right here. Duh. I don't know. Like, I was just not seeing this card. Ah, damn. Well, that's okay, I guess. Oh, so I was correct to mull packed. I was debating it, but it obviously I went with it, and then I almost uh, ran out of time and got stuck with crap. If you have Alzer already on, but yes, Libra, yes. I was more thinking like if there was some weird quirk where if I own Neuromancy, Alzer out, does he see the own Neuromancy getting played somehow? I played some weird, I played some games with very weird timing rules. Harvest. Uh, oh, yeah, this thing. Yes, I agree. I'm trying to... F Did we play this person earlier? I don't think we played somebody with the vampire thing. But we definitely played against this and this card. Uh, at the end of your turn, boost up by one if you control only elf units. That's not going to be true. Uh, deploy. None of these do anything. Well, I guess this does something. Wait, I missed something. Packs a spell too so it can trigger Alzer in some rare circumstances. Yes, absolutely. That's the only point of running. Yep. Middle guy for sure. Yeah. I, was, I didn't even know what those other cards were, so that's why I was trying to figure it out. So this guy already has Doomed. Point being is if we... Well, if we bomb it, we can't get it back. Get Milva back in the deck right now. But we can just rebuke him. Which I think we're going to do. We can always nuke this with, with Guerrilla Tactics later or bomb it to get Milva going. Can use Witcher also. Oh, you're saying to, to get the Milva going. Um, but wait, will this trigger a move? Like, will this activate Milva if there's only one guy in the row? Oh, okay. Wait, I got a bunch of people saying no and then somebody saying yes, so I'm confused which one is it. be a shame if they were to add. We probably needed to kill the, um, this thing. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what I was saying is that it didn't move. That, that's fine, Ultra. Don't worry about it. Um, so two puts you at four... Three, two, one. That's not enough. Um. I'm 
We can play Seer now. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if we have anything else. I was trying to do Milva math, but, like, it's not going to be very efficient. Yeah, I think setting up this Seer into Simless Play, we're trying it out this time around, is worth it. I mean, we have the Oniromancy, so we know we can go get Alzer. That's a lot of rain. Um, we're just gonna do this now. Only one with no sense would trust the word of a dwarf. Oh, use Dunka. Oh yeah, we don't have any more dudes in hand, so yeah, that was pointless. Well, whatever, we get it anyway. Um, five to four. Hardwise. Oh yeah, I should have targeted the seer. I wasn't really thinking. Yeah, I absolutely need to target the seer. Um... I mean, this seems fine with the exception of this, maybe. All right, we can take that guy. Wait. I guess we're playing Mushy first. Got a hearty hankering for Gwent. We just bleed? We don't... Like, why wouldn't we try and win this round? That might even be amusing. Like, is it just not likely that we win? Well, we'll won't we trigger... Oh, no, we're not going to trigger the orbs yet. He's got plus one card. I mean, that's fair. Like, I'm just not sure whether we... Because right now, if we... Yeah, is it like we have to Alzer now, because it's either that or just straight up pass, because otherwise we're going to end up wasting stuff. You get a thunderbolt. You get a thunderbolt. In the end, we'll swallow it all. Huh? That's actually if they have all rain stuff, that's gonna be hilarious. Oh, I meant to do this. I meant to click this too. Whoops. Oh well. Yeah, I missed it, Slippy. You're right. I was laughing about this and then lost track. Of, I missed this thing. why we're ahead well is there a reason to hold it back because it it feels like if we don't win this round am i like i'm not gonna have enough to win am i i mean i guess i might because we could hold on to this guy and just not play him like is this a scenario where it's just like am i trying to hedge my bets playing around heat wave i mean that that's also true i mean if they heat wave any of these we probably lose them all anyway right so we can probably kill this i think like we protect her this turn rebuke it Whoop. 
Protector Harvest? Because I was about to say that's the other option, because I think we do, yeah, we do have a Harvest. We're going to have to invest a lot of resources into, um... No, that's not where I was going to put it, but whatever. We, we have to expend a lot of resources in order to kill this thing it, since I didn't rebuke it. So if we move that for... Oh, no, that's going to be two turns, so... One, two, three, eight. Like, we're going to have to expend all three. I don't think there's a way around it, depending on what they do. I think we'd have to spend, like, three leaders to kill it. Yeah, we because we need... It'll be six from this... Five from this for 11, 12. Well, no, we'd only have to do two. Because we get three from Milva. Right? So two, four, six, seven, five is 12. So we can kill it with this. Oh no, this is not oh wait, no. I'm going doing it too slow. Don't you fret about me. Can take care of myself. I was taking way too long to do that because I thought I clicked on something wrong. So here's the problem. We're only up by 10. They have three cards. We're going to be taking another 10 damage. Like, this is going to be the difference between these two. So, like, we're... This is a, a scenario I've run into off-stream where I'm not clear on... I mean, I guess this is okay... Like, we just don't play any more cards and hope that this guy's enough next round. Pass? I mean, I don't know... I don't think there's any way we win this round. Because, like, the bomb does nothing because of the, the way they've split their units at this stage. Well, that's a problem. Alright, so the question is, can we win without doing this stuff? We don't know how... I think we have one leader activation left. I don't want to draw Milva. And we can just Oniromancy for whatever, I guess. Yeah, I definitely agree, Ultra. I just... Traveling is an option, you see. We're in a weird spot. Like, I could bomb this now, but I don't think I want to. Because it'll trap Milva in play. I mean, we could Guerrilla Tactics, but... I think I'd rather do this. Start with Sork, yeah. Gurgling like that.
just checking out chat. So what was what was the misplay mix in that you're referring to? I know there were a bunch, but which one specifically? That's annoying. Is this guy special or spells? Special cards. Do we go get the other Sork right now? The Seer misplay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because we could have gotten another another thing out of it. I don't know if we would have closed the gap with that. You can go for another Sork. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, double Matron. That's also true. I kind of want to go for the Sork. I don't know which one is optimal. So, with the Seer... We would have gotten one more. It would have been an extra four points. I feel like we... I mean, the way we finished the round, I think it was closer than... I think it was only like a two-point difference, but they still had plenty of cards. I don't know. So this will strand Milva in play, but I don't know that that's necessarily an issue. Or we could just do this. Actually, we should have done it here if we were going to strand things in play. Just one more feather, and we're done. We should have done it here, because we missed out on a damage there. We wouldn't have killed it, but, you know. Might as well do it in the event that they... We should be okay, I think, unless they have... Yep. Used to chop wood, but the pay is better for souls. GG. So, misplay aside, like, at the end there... That was also a misplay. So, as always, everybody, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, and Black Lives Matter.